there's a near doubling, near doubling in the probability of reaching one's goal if you focus routinely on foreshadowing failure. You think about the ways in which things could fail if you take action A or you take action B and instead, therefore, you take action C. You're supposed to think about how things could fail if you don't get up and run each morning if your goal is, say, a fitness goal. So let's use that as an example. Let's say somebody sets a goal of running five miles four times a week minimum and as many as seven four times a week minimum before 8 a.m., One version of this would be, okay, sit back in a chair and think about how great you're going to feel and look if you're doing this every day, how your health is going to improve, how everything's going to, your blood markers of lipids, et cetera, are going to improve. Okay, fine. That's the visualization goal of visualizing the end point. Turns out that is far less effective and maybe even counterproductive compared to thinking about what's going to happen if you don't do this the negative health outcomes that are going to occur, the disappointment you're going to have in yourself, the fact that you're going to wait until 7.30, that's not long enough for many people to run five miles. You go to put it on your shoes, it's going to be pouring rain or even hailing or snowing outside. And now you're not going outside unless you're somebody who's particularly motivated to do that. Okay, so foreshadowing failure turns out to be the best way to motivate toward goal pursuit. In fact, As I mentioned before, there's a near doubling in the likelihood that people will reach goals of any kind when they're constantly thinking about how bad it's going to be if they fail. And so while I'd love to be able to tell you that all you should think about is rainbows and puppies and all the wonderful, rewarding things that are going to happen when you achieve your goals, the truth is you should be thinking mainly about how bad it's really going to get if you don't do it, how disappointing yourself you're going to feel, how It will negatively impact you, if not in the immediate term, in the long term. And the more specific you can get by writing down or thinking about or talking about how bad it will be if you don't achieve your goals, the more likely you are to achieve those goals.